If you couldn't be at Arrowhead, Power and Light was covered in red today as fans gathered to watch the big game there on the big screen. Our Greg Payne was out there too all day with the Chiefs faithful. He joins us live there now. Greg, has it turned into more of a, a sea of orange tonight? Yeah, Carolyn, it truly has. I mean, it was a very tough loss. And while we were waiting for this live shot, we were sitting in our vehicles here at the Power and Light District. And Uber after Uber, we saw those orange and black jerseys on. And take a look right now. The Power and Light District does have a good number of those orange and black jerseys and those burrows on the back of their jerseys. Now, Earlier on during the game, this area was absolutely packed with Chiefs fans, and you can see it right there on your screen. And, you know, early on during this game, Chiefs fans were very confident, especially since the team went on such a hot start. But, of course, it didn't pan out the way that we were all hoping. But at the end of the day, we spoke with Chiefs fans, and they say that they are remaining very confident and very loyal to their team and their city. All the fans come out, no matter where they're from, the opposite side of the water. KC, we always embrace our fans, man. You know what? Win, lose, or draw, my team, we never fall, man. You know, we're always proud to be KC. I'm really sad. I was really looking forward to the Super Bowl. And now nothing. It was, it was just really heartbreaking, but hey, we gave it our all. Shout out to Joe Burrow. He, he killed it, but we'll be no, back. We'll be, we'll be, no, we'll be back. Did. And that's what we heard a lot from Chiefs fans is that we will be back next year. So, you know, Carolyn, it's one of those things. Now it's just the time to wait and see whether we will be back in that position. But once again, Chiefs Kingdom is very confident that we will be back in the same position in actually advancing to the Super Bowl. Reporting live here in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News. I agree.